All right, well imagine trying to walk outside and there's dozens of cats outside your home. That's what this man says he sees every day. The Morning Loops Monica Ortiz has his story and what you can do if you find yourself in a similar situation. It's day and night. You can hear them under the house. They're sick. Some of these cats are sick and it's obvious they're sick. But I mean, I can't open my front door without cats trying to walk in. You know, it's just, I have no privacy in my own home. This is Chris Mays. He lives in this trailer home in Smith County, but he's not alone. There's stray cats here, here, and here. Just wish somebody would step up or someone could find the resources to do something with this problem because it's only going to get worse. He says there's somewhere between 25 to 30 cats living around his home. You feel almost as if, as if you've exhausted all. I have, I have. He lives right outside Tyler City limits. That means Tyler Animal Control won't pick up any of these cats. And Smith County Animal Control only deals with dogs. Our facility at this time, we have a strict canine policy and we are not able to take in cats. He's also turned to the SPCA of East Texas. When someone contacts us about rehoming an animal, if they can buy us some time or they are willing to foster the animal themselves, then we are much more likely to be able to say yes immediately. Deborah Dobbs, president of the SPCA of East Texas, says they've been getting phone calls every day. We really didn't have very much of a winter at all, so the population of litters never really slowed down. So what does someone do if there's stray cats around their home? Dobbs says you can take them to their snippet clinic, then apply for rehoming. Allow the mom to have her kittens, or if she's already had her kittens, surrender the kittens, we will rehome those kittens at no charge and we'll spay the mom and give her back. She says because cats can have dozens of kittens a year, just like in May's case, getting them sprayed and neutered could help cut down the population. Okay, and Monica's here now to give us some more insight on the story. You found out some other additional details. Yes, I did want to add this to the story. SPA said that a lot of the times that people will send their cats out to outside of Smith County limits because inside of the city you can have up to four animals, whether that's two cats, two dogs, and so a lot of times they'll find that people will go dump the cats out there and then they'll end up on somebody's porch. And so like Chris Mink's case, now he has dozens of cats and he doesn't know what yeah. to do. So they said the best thing you can do is snip and neuter the cats and hope that that starts to control the population. They are also in about six weeks going to get you know, $2,000 or several thousand dollars worth of grant. So they said someone like Chris May would be the perfect candidate to go there, fill something out. Um, if, you know, anybody else is having a straight cat problem, right. that's something that they can do and um, get those cats neutered in spring. Okay. Awesome. Well, finding a solution for his problem too, right? Mm -hmm, All right, thanks, Monica. Mm -hmm.